Hi, and welcome to a special video here at the Story Business. You know, we're always talking about how storytelling is a really powerful communication tool for businesses. However, it is equally as powerful when used by consumers or customers of that business. So to talk about that, we're going to take a look back at a famous incident that happened in the year 2009. A customer of an airline was unsatisfied by the service and he made a tremendously powerful use of storytelling in order to, well, we can say rectify the situation. Uh, the person we're talking about is Dave Carroll. Dave is a musician. He's also a, a volunteer fireman. He's from Nova Scotia in Canada, from, from the city of Halifax. And he had a very unusual situation happen to him when he was traveling on an airline to one of his shows. From Dave's point of view, the airline was rather unfair with him in terms of customer experience or customer service. So rather than just be unsatisfied with this uh, lack of customer service or the poor customer experience, Dave decided to tell a story in the best way that he knew how to do that. So rather than tell you exactly what the story is about, I'm going to let him do that because he does it really, really well. What I will tell you are the key points of storytelling that Dave uses in order to communicate his message to his audience. Okay, now Dave clearly establishes who the protagonist of the story is. He clearly establishes who the antagonist of the story is. Okay, and obviously the necessary um, element of storytelling, he clearly establishes what the conflict of the story is, right? But he also does something uh, far more important than that because we, we could easily put those three elements into a story and, well, they would be okay. We would have some kind of a story. But he really takes us on a journey, right? So he takes us through different instances of the story. We can see where he began, what he had to go through, and how the situation finally ended. Okay, but the part of the story that I will tell you is the fact that he um, decided to use social media to communicate his story. And this was a really wise decision. In fact, it alerted companies to the need of using social media for customer service, for customer experience, because it is such an important place to be. And uh, it, it kind of gave them the idea that uh, if you're not going to be telling your story, then your customers will be doing it for you. In fact, after the tremendous viral success of this video on YouTube a few years ago, the airline immediately started to take action and to say that they were going to take steps and do this and do that and do the other. But really by then it was too late. The, the damage was done and it was so powerful that um, they actually, th their price on the stock market, right, that the stock value of the company went down to the tune of a few hundred million dollars, right? Had they perhaps listened to this unsatisfied customer in a timely manner, um, this probably would never have happened. Um, what, what, what is also probably likely here is that Dave's experience probably resonated with the experience of other unhappy customers of other companies, not just airlines, but you know, think about internet service providers, uh, cell phone, you know, mobile phone carriers, and, and, and other public utility type companies and, and massive companies that deal with hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of customers a day, where the probability of getting something wrong, of screwing up and, and having unhappy people is really, really um, a high one. So, well, I'm not going to tell you anything more about it. I'm just going to invite you to watch the video. I think it makes for a really valid discussion on the power of social media as a channel but also of storytelling as a communication format rather than just you know stating the facts and saying that you're unhappy with it so uh, I'm gonna leave you with the song and video from Dave Carroll called United Breaks Guitars